And now, oh, I can't believe I'm doing this. <sighs> okay, deep breath. Hey guys, how's it going? So today I am 19 weeks pregnant and baby is the size of an heirloom tomato. I am so excited, you guys, because this is the last pregnancy update that I'm doing where you guys won't know baby's gender or baby's name. And I'm so excited because I want to tell you guys so bad. It's killing me that I have no choice but to wait until next week. I wish I could just tell you right now that I cannot wait to start using baby's name. I'm in love with its name and I just, I can't wait. As far as symptoms this week, heartburn hasn't been as bad. I know, I know. I'm shocked too. Also, my sciatic pain and my pubic bone pain hasn't been as bad either. So those three things are kind of relieved. But the three things that have been killing me this week are nausea, not sleeping, and my crazy stupid hormones. My nausea came back and I don't know why because I've never had nausea in the second trimester like ever, <laughs> much less 19 weeks along. And I've noticed that it's both at breakfast and dinner. Like lunch, I don't get nauseous, but breakfast and dinner, I, I don't know. I, I get really nauseous and I think it's really weird, but it's still bothering me and it's still a symptom that I just hate and wish would go away already. And then on top of that, I'm not sleeping very well. My sleeping's actually gotten worse. I just, I don't, I don't know. I don't know why. I am exhausted like all day, but I try to go to bed at like 10, 30, 11 o'clock. My body will just not let me go to sleep. And I don't know why. I will lay there and I will toss and turn until I get bored and then I'll get on the internet for a little bit and then I'll put that down and then try again to go back to sleep, toss, turn for another hour or so. And then it just kind of repeats until I finally, finally pass out. So it's not like I'm not trying. I do try to go to sleep and I lay there and I toss and I turn and I just, I don't know. I don't know why I'm not sleeping but it's killing me and because I'm not sleeping my fatigue is back and it's just miserable. And my hormones. My hormones have been really bad this week. I've cried a lot for no reason. <laughs> and it actually makes me feel like I'm some kind of drama queen and I'm really not. Like I'm not that person. But my hormones have just been insane this week. I just hope it goes away soon because it really sucks crying for no reason at all. Another symptom that I'm dealing with is zero appetite. Like I sit down and I go to eat and I'm like I'm not really that hungry. I eat anyway because baby needs nutrition. But it probably has to do with the nausea. Like I'm feeling nauseous so my appetite's gone down. That might be like, you know, related. But I don't have much of an appetite this week. I'm just not feeling up to eating a whole lot. But I make myself anyway. Baby needs nutrition. Another symptom that I've been dealing with this week is dizziness and lightheadedness. I really don't know what that's about. It probably has to do with like blood pressure or something. You know when you stand up really fast and your blood pressure gets messed up and you feel dizzy or lightheaded or whatever. That might be it. And maybe it's just getting a little bit prolonged. I don't know. I just know that I've been kind of dizzy, lightheaded this week. And that's been causing some kind of issues. Another symptom this week is I am craving pumpkin like something horrible. <laughs> it might be the fall weather. It might be because I'm seeing fall stuff everywhere on social media, on Snapchat, on Instagram, on Facebook. I mean, literally everywhere you look, even on YouTube, everywhere you look, it's fall, 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 fall. So that might be a reason why I'm craving pumpkin, but I really do love pumpkin flavored anything. So that might be another reason. But I'm craving it really bad. And I went to Pinterest and I saw two different recipes for a pumpkin something. And I'm taking half of the recipes and I'm putting it together. So this is kind of like my own creation. But I'm borrowing half of the recipes. So I don't know. Kind of. But it's going to be really good. You all are really going to like this recipe. I'm very excited to do it. And I can't wait to show you guys what I've been craving. Another thing that I'm dealing with is feeling huge. Like this, and this normally does happen around like 18 weeks. For some reason, my body goes into mega pregnant mode, and I feel like 
way further along than I am, even though I really haven't gained that much weight. <laughs> Suddenly, I feel like super pregnant. Is that a superhero? That should be a superhero. Super pregnant? Anyway, that's how I feel. I feel super pregnant. My belly just feels so much bigger than how far along I am, and I see other girls who are pregnant who aren't that much ahead of me. Like, for instance, Cassidy from It's Me Cassidy, her belly is like way smaller than mine. <laughs> and Brittany from Brittany and Baby, her belly is way smaller than mine. And they're both a about a month, month and a half-ish ahead of me. And I look down and I'm like, uh, <laughs> I wish I was blessed with that. I really do. I watch their pregnancy vlogs and I'm like, uh, I wish I had that. I wish that I was one of those women who didn't really get that big, huge belly right away. Just wait. You guys will understand when I get into my third trimester and I'm like, 30 weeks pregnant. When you guys see my belly then, I'm hoping then you'll kind of see where I'm coming from. When I say I wish that I was tiny pregnant for when I wasn't as further along, you'll, you'll see what I mean. But I have to like keep reminding myself that I'm really short. I'm like not even 5'3". I think I'm like 5'2 and 3 fourths of an inch or something like that. It's something like that. I'm not even 5'3". And my torso is really small. So I have to like keep reminding myself, okay, Kristen, you have a really short, small torso. You don't have a whole lot of room to grow a baby, so your babies just grow out. Instead of <laughs> growing up, they grow out. And I know that there are girls about my height whose be bellies don't get really big, but hey, don't tell me that. Just let me believe that it's because I'm short, because I really do. I really get insanely jealous of women who are just so itty bitty tiny pregnant, and here's me with my big old belly. Since we're already talking about bellies and weight and all that, I will give you guys a weight update. Last time I told you guys I was 156 and this morning I was 157, which puts me at 12 pounds over pre-pregnancy. In other news, as you guys already know, if you're subscribed to my channel and you watch my Day in the Life vlog, you already know that I had my anatomy scan. Don't hate me. Please don't hate me. But Dev and I know what we're having and we know baby's name and it's so hard to continue to say baby instead of just the name. <laughs> but during the ultrasound, they told me that baby looks perfect. Baby's brain and stomach and kidneys and heart. Baby's everything looks awesome and normal and just fine and healthy. The bad news is that I have lost 10% of my placenta. I have had two abruptions, one on my left and one on my right. And because of those two abruptions, I have lost 10% of my placenta. I'm going to do this as like a visual representation of what I'm talking about when I, when I say this. But uh, the abruptions are about 5 centimeters each. I think my left was like 4.88 and my right was like 5.13 or something like that. They just rounded to 5. They said, okay, they're both about 5 centimeters long and they look about like this. They're kind of like half moon, half oval-ish shaped. And this part, which is the part that is uh, touching my placenta, that part has scarred and it's scar tissue now. And this is a bunch of trapped blood, and then this is my uterus. Just to give you like a visual like idea of what I'm talking about here. Uh, so there's two places on each side. Because it has scarred, it most likely won't bleed out a lot like I had been bleeding out a lot. But all that blood is now trapped there. And he told me that the hope is that all this blood will eventually dissolve and go back into my uterus. And this will just heal and go away, and there will be no problems whatsoever. He said, however, if that continues to sit there for the next however many months, I am running a risk of going into preterm labor. So anytime that I have any steady contractions or any kind of anything like that, I have to go to the hospital, I have to take precaution, and I have to get checked. But on to other more exciting things. The gender reveal video will be filmed not today, but next Saturday. You guys will know very, very soon what we're having, and then I can finally call baby by its name. <laughs> but I can't wait to tell you guys. I really, I'm just out of my mind excited. Now I'm going to show you guys a belly shot, and I'm about to do something really, really brave. Uh, because my stomach is my most self-conscious part of my body. It's the one part of me that I'm very self-conscious about. I can forgive my boobs, I can forgive my stretch marks, I can forgive my everything else. But for some reason, my belly is like the one part of me that I'm, <laughs> I'm kind of uh, self-conscious about. Uh, but I want to show you guys my belly for a couple reasons. One, I've seen so many pregnancy vlogs where girls show their belly and I'm like, oh, I wish I could do that. And I'm just kind of at a place where I'm like, you know what, I'm going to anyway. Just because it's different doesn't mean it's ugly or wrong or bad. 
It's just different. And you know what? I don't care to show it anyway. And another reason is because I have an umbilical hernia and I've had one for like, it's almost five years now. I've almost had this for five years. And I haven't gotten it fixed because I didn't even know that I had it until I was pregnant with McKinley. And I don't even know how I came across it. How did I come across it? I really don't, I can't remember. I think it was on the internet or something like that. And I was like, oh my gosh, my belly button does that. <laughs> and I was like, I match all of these symptoms. And it was like, oh my gosh, finally, now I know why my belly looks so weird. But that's what I have. And I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. Even though I'm 19 weeks pregnant, you can still kind of see it. I'm going to do my belly shot and go ahead and show you guys what I'm talking about. So this is my 19 week belly. This is from this side. This is facing. I know, my shorts look weird. I'm sorry. And this is from this side. So that's my belly. And I feel like super pregnant for some reason. I feel ultra pregnant. And now, oh, I can't believe I'm doing this. <sighs> okay, deep breath. This is with the shirt up. And you see my stretch marks? You can, oh, you can see them real good. And I'm not even that close. See? Yeah. I don't care. Everyone's got them. See my, okay, this is what I'm talking about, my, my hernia. Like, my belly button, I know I'm 19 weeks pregnant. Your belly button's gonna stick out probably by this point. But my belly button is always like that. Even when I'm not pregnant, even when I've lost all my baby weight, my belly button still looks like that. See how it's kind of like protruded? Yeah, always looks like that, always. And you see how like this part of my belly is like, sticking out and this part of my belly is kind of flat yeah that's just weird and i haven't gotten it fixed because i just i didn't even know that that was a thing i really didn't until last year but yeah it makes my belly look very misshapen and i can't believe i'm showing you guys my belly but anyway this is from the front this is from the side my horrible belly button and back around Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss my upcoming gender reveal video. I really don't want you to miss it. I'm just so excited to tell you guys. All of my links to all my social media, my Facebook, my Twitter, my Instagram, my Snapchat, it's all down there in the description bar. And I will see you guys on Monday. If not before then, because of course, grocery hauls. So I'll see you guys later. Bye.